Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. Today we're going to talk about testing your business idea because sometimes you think that maybe you should quit your job to focus on your business or maybe you should make another life-changing decision just because your primary job doesn't let you focus on something that you have in mind. But the problem is, before you start, you don't even know that the problem exists. You don't even know whether you will have a product market fit with your idea. This video will be a tutorial on how to build a website step-by-step -step using Wix platform. I encourage you to click the link below and try to create your own website while watching this video. I've seen a couple of friends quit their jobs with really good salaries and uh, spend six months just, you know, working on an idea that they had, only to realize that by the end of six months they ran out of savings, they're out of job and the idea doesn't work. Which is again, this is a great experience because then you know that the next time you want to start something, you want to test it first. I started several businesses myself, some of them failed. The first business that failed, uh, we wanted to connect students with the alumni from different universities. We actually coded that platform without testing the demand. And when we coded it, we realized nobody wanted that, but we spent so much money on and time on developing it. So with the next idea, we tried to come up with an MVP, which is a minimum viable product that would allow you to test the idea. And today we're gonna build an MVP for one of my ideas that I have. And I will just explain my thought process behind building this MVP. So if you have an idea, continue watching carefully. This video is brought to you by Wix and I'm gonna be using their platform to create an MVP for my product. So the idea that I have is creating a new course, a new course for people who want to become YouTube managers. And what does that mean? A lot of YouTubers out there are starting channels, but they have their full-time job and they can focus 100% on building a YouTube channel. And they want a person who would help them with the scripts, who would help them with thumbnails, maybe do some editing, reply back to comments and uh, publish the video. And I have two of those managers. So the idea is to create a course for those people so that they can learn how to become a YouTube manager and uh, find a job later on. And today we're gonna create a landing page that would help me test whether there is demand for it and also ultimately collect money from people. Because you see, testing demand sounds like a great idea. You ask your friend, do you wanna take this course? And the friend's like, oh yeah, of course, great idea. But is he willing to pay for it? You need to make your economics work. So we would actually create a website that would charge people if they're interested. You know, and if later on you decide to not launch a course and not launch a business, you just refund them. But if you decide to launch it, you already have capital and you've already tested that people are willing to pay for your product. Okay, now let's get into business. I logged in into Wix, create a website. Because I want to charge people, I'm creating an online store. And I'm gonna use their website editor. I just love that they have so many designs here. I'm wondering if they have something for like a course. You know, I decided to go with a book template website just because we're gonna have a single course and I just like the layout, I like the colors. I'm gonna be able to tweak with it. Wix is very flexible in terms of like tweaking with the websites. And also I want you to understand that an MVP that you're building is not your final product. This is only to test the idea don't fall in love with it. Oh my God, I, I created a perfect website. Uh, I don't wanna change anything. Oh, you're gonna be changing it a lot. So don't really fall in love with it. Uh, yes, you can love your first version, but it's only to test the demand. You're gonna upgrade it later. Oh, perfect, because it's gonna be personalized. We're gonna have my picture here. Here, I really want to explain what the website is about. YouTube manager, your future job that inspires creativity starts May 1st here I'll say enroll now We're gonna change the image here. They have a lot of free images and they partner with Unsplash, one of my favorite platforms for images. I like something.
a little narrower. Okay, this is perfect. We have it here. My story. So whenever you pick up a problem that you're gonna solve with your company, and again, start with a problem, not an idea. Oh, I have an idea of building another social network. But what's the problem? Is there a problem with people communicating with each other these days? Are there not enough social networks? Maybe there aren't. This is why Clubhouse is taking off, etc. But you need to think, which problem am I trying to solve and why am I in a unique position to solve it? So my story here is that I'm a YouTuber with three YouTube channels and I hired our first YouTube manager a couple of years ago, first for a company, then for myself. I hired people with no experience, so basically just explained them what to do. I taught over five people to do that and uh, they are incredibly helpful and I think that there is demand for this profession. This is basically what I'm gonna test here. I'm gonna test whether people wanna learn how to become a YouTube manager. So here, I just wanna tell my story. And uh, this is what I encourage you to do on your website. Like, why would people solve this problem with you or with your company? So show them that you're unique. So I put in this short story, who am I? Why am I making this product? And I also told about the course, what's inside the course. Again, when you're testing your idea, you don't really have to have a course that's ready. And um, I have three more months to create a course if I see the demand uh, and I can create the course on the go. I can switch it to like live course. It's okay to change your product later. But again, now we're just trying to figure out if people are gonna buy it or not. Okay, now we need my picture here. We're gonna replace added my picture here. Luckily I had I like how when you're putting your photo somewhere it just helps you navigate through everything. So this is my photo here with the YouTube buttons proving that I'm legit that I have the channel. So she has three different books here and uh, we're gonna manage products. We're gonna added this product calling Emma. YouTube channel manager course ribbon. Ah, do we want a ribbon? New. <laughs> That's the new price. Okay. This is where you need to think how much you want to charge for a product. I would say if you are putting together a course and you think people who graduate from this course, if they're interested in continuing, will be able to make like $2,000 a month extra, $1,000, I would put $1,350. Here you just need to estimate if 10 people take it, would it be worth for you to create the course? And I'm like, okay, and we're gonna do on sale. We're gonna add a 20% discount. Okay, and we need to change an image. Gonna delete this image. We don't wanna track inventory, so press save. And let's delete all of the other products. So we have only one product left. I will put it here. YouTube channel manager course in the press. Okay, if we had testimonials, ideally we have them. I would just say testimonials. And I would add feedback from the managers that I've taught. I ask them for feedback, I put it here. So ideally, if you're launching a product, test it on your friends first. This is what we did with LinguaTrip. We sent our friend to the UK to study English and then we got her testimonial and this is how you this is how you start. It's kind of fake it till you make it because you're only sending your friends but now you're selling to a wider audience but you need to have some proof that you're legit. Your story is amazing but you also want to have stories from other people. Marina taught me how to manage other people's channels and now it's my full-time job. Let's put here Alina Brown, I don't know, city. Just San Francisco, something like that. But it, it needs to be real. Okay, book signing, we don't need this really. So I would just go ahead and delete this. Here we go. 
We don't need this either. Oh my God, this is, it's in the mission bay, the, the template. And I used to live somewhere here in San Francisco. Good old days, delete. <laughs> leave your contact details. You don't even have to have like your phone number or your address here. And I would again, just delete them. I will just leave your phone number if you have one and a Gmail that you have, marina gmail.com, no real. Okay, and uh, the last but not the least, like all of the small, small edits by Marina Mogilko. We need to delete things that we don't need at all. Manage menu. You know, because we're doing a very, very simple website, we don't really need anything. We'll just leave contact and that's it. Social bar, you can edit. Now then, when you go to manage products, you will be also able to add your payment method, connect Stripe or PayPal or whatever you're using, and you would be able to start collecting payments, but just please make sure before you start spreading the word about your website, make sure everything's working because sometimes you forget things. And a couple more tips before we wrap it up. Um, when you're creating a website, take a look at your competitors. What are they offering? How they structure their website? Don't copy everything. Maybe even like for this course, I would look for people who are building courses for YouTube editors because I haven't seen a lot of YouTube manager courses. So look at your competitors, research what they're doing, research their pricing, ask your friends and don't try to solve the problem for like every single YouTuber, like every single YouTuber needs a YouTube manager. So with this course, for example, I'm trying to solve the problem for YouTubers who are experts uh, because they can create their own courses, they uh, run their own businesses and their goal with YouTube is not to become a 1 million follower channel. Their goal with YouTube is the, to build their core audience, maybe 10,000, maybe 15,000 people and start selling their products. And this is what the course is about. So I'm not trying to grow a manager for every single YouTuber out there. I am trying to solve this problem for a small group of people. At first, we're ready with the website. All I need to do is hit publish and then it goes live. I could connect my branded domain. For testing purposes, you can just use whatever Wix is offering you. And again, Wix is one of the best platforms to create a website because with this website and with Wix platform, I can just upgrade and add more and more things, change the course, add another course, uh, add discounts, send emails, like everything. I remember when I started my first business, I did everything myself because there were no platforms like this. But now everything is at your fingertips so you can focus on marketing, well, on your product first and then on marketing. The link to start a business, <laughs> to create an MVP for your idea to solve a problem will be below. Please use it, fingers crossed. And by the way, give me some feedback on my idea about creating a YouTube manager course. I have created it in Russian already. It's going really well. And I'm thinking whether I should create it in English for English speaking managers and English speaking YouTubers. Looking forward to reading your comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video up to the very end. I really hope that it was useful and subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed. Bye.